Welcome to the internet, your gateway to adventure. Hi, my name is Rachel. I am a member of the SUNY Swoop class of 2017. You ready? Here we go. It is my mission to help you through the hectic process of applying to a college with little tricks and tips my own. Your mission is to choose to accept it. I've lived through it, and it's my goal to help you do the same. Come on, let's go. Enough, most colleges don't accept monopoly. Aww. However, there are ways you can finance your schooling. First off, when you're applying to college, make sure you fill out the FAFSA form. Um, for the financial aid process for all incoming students, we certainly encourage everybody to uh, fill out the FAFSA form, which is the free application for federal aid. We will get the information in about three business days and we'll get back to you and let you know what financial aid you qualify. It's completely free but it needs to be done. When filling out the FAFSA form, don't forget to put down SUNY Oswego as one of your schools. If you're applying to any others, you can add those also. Along with doing the FAFSA form, and potentially taking out any student loans or any other student aid, you can also work on campus. Um, we have lots of jobs on campus. We encourage you to apply for jobs on our campus. And Another way to finance your college education is through scholarships. SUNY Oswego does have a scholarship program, but most scholarships available to freshmen are the merit scholarships. What I'm holding in my hand right now, yes, it is a paper, is the merit scholarship qualification forms. Students who are coming in as freshmen have the opportunity to be awarded the presidential scholarship, the dean scholarship, the merit scholarship, and the residential scholarship. Qualifications for each of these every year change, so contact the admissions office with any questions you have on what this year's qualifications will be. Our freshman scholarships come from our admissions office. They are not based on family income, which is good news for a lot of families. They are based on the student's high school record. They look at SAT scores and high school average. Roughly, they stay around the same as far as your average goes, your ACT scores, and your SAT critical reading and math scores. My advice to you as somebody who went through the process, is find as many scholarships in your area or online as you can. The more money you have, the less your parents or you have to pay in loans. May 1st is the deadline for all colleges. On this date, you should have your deposit put down on college. $200 if you plan on living on campus, and $100 if you plan on living off campus. Remember, the best way to get through your college experience is to pay it off. So that way when you get out of college, you don't have to worry about having to pay student loans and owing people money. Do scholarships. Scholarships are free to you. You just gotta take a few minutes to sit down and fill out the application, write an essay or two, and send it in. If you have any questions, check out the school's website at oswego.edu or contact me through Facebook or Twitter. May 1st for all colleges is the due date of your tuition.